Next week is Thanksgiving. I'm sure you all have fond memories of going home and smelling all the delicious Thanksgiving foods, turkey, and potatoes. Imagine, imagine next week, Thanksgiving, then all of a sudden you get a call from the hospital. Your grandmother just had a heart attack. So what are her options as far as recovery goes? She could uh, start living healthy, eating right, uh, exercising. She could take toxic medications, which may or may not even work. She could live out the rest of her days with her friends and family. Or she could get a transplant, which has its own complications. All these treatments, they don't guarantee recovery. And they all have problems with it. But there is a solution. New technology is on the rise called therapeutic human cloning. All right. First of all, there are two types of cloning. There's reproductive and therapeutic. Reproductive cloning is the type of cloning you see in sci-fi movies. So you like, this guy walks into a machine and then out comes two of them. Okay? And then therapeutic cloning is using embry embryos to create stem cells. And stem cells are a type of cell that give rise to other types of cells. So what are the issues with stem cells? They're basically a lot of ethical issues about using stem cells and about therapeutic cloning. Is it right, is it wrong, things like that. Uh, we will go into that later. This is a diagram of basically how um, the differences in between reproductive and therapeutic cloning. Uh, basically, you remove the nucleus of any type of cell, skin cells, liver cells, and then insert them into an egg cell. And that produces an embryo which provides the clones. Politics. Um, currently in the United States, there's no federal legislation uh, having to do with any types of bans or funding in this type of research. But many states, um, actually 15 of the states in the United States have uh, laws that have to do with cloning. These include Arizona, Arkansas, California, Connecticut, Indiana, Iowa, Maryland, Massachusetts, Michigan, Missouri, New Jersey, North Dakota, South Dakota, Rhode Island, Virginia. And then five out of these 15 states ban both reproductive and therapeutic cloning. The ones that ban them are Arkansas, Indiana, Iowa, Michigan, North Dakota, and South Dakota. This information is from National Conference of State Legislatures. On an international stage, the United Nations has had a conference on the status of the research of cloning. Um, they have recent, uh, in 2005, they adapt, adopted a non-binding convention that bans all forms of cloning. But because this is a non-binding convention, uh, it can't be enforced by the UN. Many nations, such as South Korea, uh, United Kingdom, and Germany, they all support the research on therapeutic cloning. Now for the ethical issues. Alex Epstein, 
a uh, writer for the uh, Ayn Rand Institute, a public policy research organization, says, cloning does not present the desire to exert our will over every aspect of our surrounding, but such a desire is not immoral. It is a, is a mark of virtue. He also says that therapeutic, therapeutic cloning is a pro-life technology, meaning it's technology that will improve the lives of everyone. Although, to support the research on therapeutic cloning, um, the ends justify the means. We use the embryos to save millions of people suffering from disease, uh, tissue damage, things like that. On the other side of the fence, we have Terrence Jeffrey, who is a syndicated writer and author. He writes, cloning might be the perfect sin. He might just break all ten commandments at once. This plays into the religious debate. Is an embryo alive? Can we, do we have the right to take the life of a living organism away? On top of that, can we play God? We are playing God by trying to create something that has been killed, destroyed, and so why support therapeutic cloning? Um, well, basics, research. Research is how we find the means to heal, to protect, and a lot of the research that's being done is done on animal models, which don't always represent what's going to happen in people. By using therapeutic cloning, we can recreate the actual human organs in other animals to test uh, different chemicals and see what's actually happening. Also, um, for students, they can actually study the organs as they are, instead of using uh, cadavers or animal models. And most importantly, by your grandmother, uh, medical treatments, such as organ transplants. Uh, organ transplants that use uh, therapeutic cloning uh, have a higher chance of not being rejected. And in conclusion, you should be knowledgeable about therapeutic cloning um, and take action. Email your senators, your congressmen, to have them support uh, therapeutic cloning. And in the future, therapeutic cloning might just save your life.